What is up guys, welcome into a brand new uh, cricket news video that we do every week on this channel. Um, we go through the kind of various stuff that's happened in the kind of Cricket 24 world and any other gaming news that's come about um, and actual kind of cricket stuff. So before we get into what's happened this week, if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, it does massively help out and we'll great get straight into what's happened this week. Okay, to start off with some kind of cricket 24 news, um, Big Ant Studios tweeted out, uh, I can't even remember when this was, this was at some point this week, um, updates for cricket 24 will come, uh, you can see many announcements from various teams indicating that we are partners slash sponsors for 2024, the nature of cap capturing athletes means that there is a delay um, between capture and implementation, especially where teams have only been together for a week. Now, this is basically in terms of the kind of updated IPL teams and the updated kits and stuff like that with the actual sponsors for this year. Uh, it, so basically, we are back to square one where they only really care about sponsors and stuff and and licenses and stuff. And just, I don't know how many times I need to say it, Please put more content in the game. There is only, like, you can't even play the IPL. Like, you can't make the IPL format. Like, it's impossible if you want to use all the teams. You can make an IPL, but with eight teams. Like, it just doesn't work. So can we please just have some more content and a little bit more customization, a little bit more storylines in our career modes and a little bit more for online play and something to do after you've played the game for two minutes. I'm just so fed up of always talking about licenses and, oh, like the, the, we literally, like the last big update that they did, or the last, pretty much the last update, was just updating the Pakistan League and Pakistan teams. Like, they haven't even updated the PSL teams with the correct players and sponsors. And so, that tournament's gone and done. Like, that's a license that they've probably paid for. I, I don't understand. I really don't understand what's going on with Big N. Like, it just seems to be that they brought out, like, three other games and now Cricket 24 is just literally thrown to the dirt when it's their biggest game. It must be. It, it really must be their biggest game. Um, I mean, AFL is probably a decent earner for them but no, they've they killed that fan base that's done that is completely done for them there is not anyone that i've spoken to about afl 23 that is impressed by that game so they're going to really struggle to find anyone that wants to play that still even with their updates and i know they said that pro teams coming for that game kind of end of may but it's too late at that point you said it was going to come out and release like at the start of may like what's happening i just i don't understand it i don't get it i really don't but this happened, okay. So on to some actual cricket that happened this week. The IPL started, which was uh, very nice to see. I've enjoyed every single one of the five games we've had so far. Um, we kicked off with a pretty big one, RCB versus CSK, Kohli versus Dhoni. Uh, who did we have? We had uh, RCB go out to 173 for six, decent knocks. Uh, from Rawat and Dinesh Kartik to kind of save them at the end of their innings. But CSK chased it down pretty easily. Uh, Dubé and Jadeja seeing them over the line with contributions from Ratchin Ravindra as well on his debut. Uh, Mustafiza was player of the match for his 4 for 29. He had like 4 for 7 in like the first over. It was pretty impressive. Into the next game, we had Rishabh Pant's um, return to cricket, which is always nice to see after some of the pictures that came out after his car crash last year. It was a real worry to see if he'd ever play cricket again, and it finished with an 18 for 13, a catch and a stump, in which I guess isn't terrible when you haven't played cricket for over a year now. Uh, the highlights of that batting innings was Perel with his 32 off 10, um, with a fair few boundaries in there. Um, but then it was Sam Curran and Liam Livingston putting together a partnership. Uh, Sam Curran, 63 of 47. Uh, Liam Livingston, 38 of 21 um, to win the game for the Punjab Kings. A lot of chasing teams getting those totals down. I don't know if those impact subs are uh, affecting the teams a little bit too much. And then the third, the third game was bizarre. It was a really, really good game. High scoring. I mean, 208 played 204. Um, Phil Salt got a 50. 
um, which was, a good, I mean, Saturday was a great day for English batsmen. It really was. Um, Andre, Andre Russell, 64 off 25 with seven sixes. That was blistering, that knock. It really was. And then uh, Sunrisers in reply, uh, Heinrich Klaassen with 63 off 29 with eight sixes was just as special. It didn't hit a single four, just sixes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, fair play. Um, this game was like, I don't want to win. Like, I've scored over 200, but you try and win it. Like, the Sunrisers needed seven off five in the last over and managed to bottle it and only score another two more runs and lose, like, two wickets in that last over. So I have no idea what happened. It really was mad. But luckily, uh, Kolkata take it home, and Patrick Cummins starts his first IPL captaincy gig with a loss. Uh, the... Fourth game um, so far, so the first one of Sunday, uh, Rajasthan Royals ended up beating Lucknow Supergiants by 20-odd runs. I think it was 20 runs in the end. Uh, Sanju Sampson with an 82 not out, uh, Parag with 43, Jeff Jarrell with a little 20, Jaisal with a 24, Butler with an 11. Um, Trent Bolt took two wickets for Rajasthan, again played pretty well. Kale Rahul and uh, Nicholas Puran had a pretty good partnership in the middle. Puran ended up on 64 and Rahul on 58. But, as I said, fell 20 runs short. Did bottle it a little bit at the end. A couple of good overs um, from Sandeep Sharma and Ashwin. So, yeah, well played to Rajasthan. Rajasthan are my team, so I'm happy that they got their first win. And the final game of the first round of fixtures... Um, the second of the doubleheader on the Sunday. Um, so Gujarat Titans, last year's finalists, take on Mumbai, one of the most popular teams in the uh, competition. Um, side Sundar Harsan, um, top scored for Gujarat with a 45 of 39. Shibben Gill with a 31. Uh, not really much else on there. Jaswick Bumra in the first innings, 3 for 14 from 4 overs. I mean, that was a pretty good bowling spell in the first innings. He was almost unplayable. Um, Mumbai, in reply, had decent scores. Rohit Sharma, 43 from 29. Uh, Dor Brevis got 46 from 38, but they r fell six runs short of Mumbai's total, trying to chase it down. Lost too many wickets in important areas. Um, I mean, you kind of felt that when Sharma went, it was a really, really bad time for him to go. They need like 61 or 47 and just needed a bit of... Um, but it was someone just to see him over the line. Hardik kind of needed to be that man, but he kind of came in, had a whack, and got out for his little cameo. But that is going to be all of the IPL games that have happened so far. I'm not 100% sure who we've got tomorrow. So to, or today it would be. We've got RCB versus Punjab Kings. I'm my second team this year are the Punjab Kings. So I'm going to be rooting for them because they've got the most English players in. So I'll be excited to see that today. Um, in unrelated uh, IPL news, we have had... How many have we had now? We've had three... Uh, T20Is between England and New Zealand. Um, England, I believe, won the first two. Is that wrong or is that right? I think the fourth one's... Actually, it might even have just started, has it? No, it hasn't. I'm completely making it up. Crick Info is completely lying to me right now. Um, I was just having a quick look at the scores. So, yeah, England won the first two. I believe Heather Knight picked up 50s in both of the first two games um, and then New Zealand bounced back to win the third one England falling just three runs short in the end um, I know there's a bit of a difference I think there's some more players for England coming in because England cricket got a little bit funny about the WPL players coming in so I'm, I'm not really 100% sure what happened in but I think they definitely have a different team for the fourth and fifth test. So hopefully they can win one out of the last two and wrap up that T20 series. And then they go into a three-match ODI series starting the 31st of March. And then finally, I mean, I previewed this slightly on last week's episode because it was literally a week ago today. 
Um, we had the PSL final um, between Islamabad and Multan Sultans. Islamabad ended up coming out victors in the end. It was an absolute thriller. I mean, Nazim Shah smacking a couple, uh, six at the end, which made it interesting. Um, and Islamabad managed to get it over the line with the last ball of the inning. The scores were tied, and I think a four um, came when they were two wickets down. But yeah, absolutely great game. Absolutely great tournament. Really enjoyed it. Um, sad to see it end, but I am happy that the IPL is here. Um, a couple of stats. Martin Guptill got 50 for Islamabad. Multan Sol- um, Usman Khan got 57 for him. Uh, if Takar Ahmed got 32. Anyone with the ball? Oh, yeah. Imad Wasim p- picked up a five for and then shared the wickets for Multan Sultans. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I very much hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to leave a like. Please remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.